Hello everyone, this is James. Uh, this is the latest in the Ask James question and answers. We've had another bunch of questions in. Thank you very much for all of those. I'm going to crack straight on with it. So the three categories of questions have come in. Uh, first is about sales. I'm going to spend about a third of my time on that. Then I'm going to talk about pricing and licensing. I'm going to move on to general contributor questions. I'm going to try and squeeze it into 10 minutes. So if you want to skip to the bit you're interested in, uh, it's one third to each area. Uh, so sales, uh, what is Alamy doing to market and increase sales in the United States? Well, we've added three account managers in the last uh, six months, all of whom are very experienced. Uh, we're now present in a head office in uh, Brooklyn, in New York. We're also in Seattle and we're also in Texas. We've got 13 people in total uh, working exclusively on pick research, um, direct sales and customer service. So when we opened the office in 2008, it Direct sales was about 30% um, of, US, sorry, US sales about 30% of Alamy's direct sales, and it's now 60%. So the office has been a huge success. Uh, we are also uh, marketing much more intensively. Uh, you will have seen a complete reboot of the brand. We'll, we'll come to a bit more of that later. Uh, and generally just upping our game in the US market and uh, results so far pretty encouraging. Back in 2008, you were doing quarterly reporting and you were licensing about 200,000 uses uh, per year. You acknowledge that prices have gone down, but you're licensing more uses. How many did you license in 2012? In 2012, we licensed 360,000 thereabouts pictures. So um, the volumes have uh, essentially doubled and the prices have halved, if you like, you know, over that period since the recession. The business is about the same size. So I think you'll find that's largely the case right across the industry in the traditional rights managed royalty free space. Next question, I've done some analysis of Getty contributors and around 25% of units licensed were for prices under $25. This doesn't include their ThinkStock Microsoft subscriptions. What percentage of your licenses are for prices under $25? We report the number slightly differently, but 22% of the licenses we've sold are for $25 or less. So uh, most of the business we do is above $25. It's stock photography, Jim, but not as we knew it. Jim Pickerel in this case, I believe. Given that editorial rates are sinking fast, why has Alamy not invested in the creative collection? How can you market to the buyers with bigger pockets if you present them with such a dog's dinner of a selection? Give me one good reason why I should put my commercial work with you. Well, I'll give you several good reasons. One, Alamy is a strong company. We've been in business since 99, so next year will be our 15th year in business. Uh, we've been profitable since 2004. We've survived two major recessions. Uh, when we set our minds to things, we generally do very well. You will have noticed the fantastic position we've built up in the secondary, secondary editorial space over the years. And uh, we pay uh, one of the best royalties in the business for a company of our size. That has changed in recent years, but you'll also know that we're doing a lot more uh, for our share of the money than we have done in the past. So the business has had to shift its royalty split to reflect all the new things we have to do as a company, but we're still paying a better margin than most of our competitors. Uh, we've paid out over $135 million in royalties since we started, which is up there with uh, most of the other people you will deal with. Uh, you get to decide what you put onto the site. We provide you with excellent tools like Alamy Measures, I tell you what's selling. Uh, we're passionate about making this business uh, a success and, uh, and sharing in that success with you. Uh, I suppose I might also turn the question back to yourselves, which is you need to give us your best material if you want us to do well for you. And we find it very motivating when you know, photographers come on board with, with beautiful pictures. And uh, even though we have this very large archive, uh, there, is, uh, still, there are still gaps in the collection and those gaps represent opportunities for you as creative shooters um, to fill them. And while the search engine is still a work in progress, uh, we have made measurable improvement and change in the last 12 months. And by measurable, not necessarily what the photographers think, but what the customers think. And we have seen an increase in 
uh, sales and conversion rates of commercial customers. Yes, there's still a lot to do. Yes, we got some things wrong at the beginning and we've learned from those things. You can only improve if you try stuff and you learn uh, from those things. And uh, so from where I see it, uh, the work we're doing is really beginning to pay dividends and, and you know we need more stuff. You'll be surprised how often when you look for a very detailed uh, business or lifestyle shop, a specific request, uh, the results are not as um, diverse and as large as you would expect for a company with an inventory of uh, around this size. So give us your best stuff and let us try and sell it for you. A few questions about pricing and licensing. Uh, can you explain a sales which say 10 year license within a single issue? If it was for a sale within a single issue of a magazine, why would they need a 10 year license? And if it is within a single issue of a magazine, why does it say for web and print? Now, uh, I've actually redacted the name of the customer in this question, but uh, nevertheless, it's a good point that's been raised. We uh, started a project a few years ago called Alamy IQ, which you will have uh, seen uh, released um, to the general sort of market a few months ago. And IQ is basically trying to work out what, license terms you can unlock business with customers who have previously been shy about buying a lot of pictures from Alamy and uh, to do that you need to do a couple of things one is that the price has to be right obviously and the other is that the rights have to be right and there's been a shift over the years as uh, especially media customers have moved towards buying lots and lots more volume and also a certain amount of reluctance on behalf of senior management management in these organizations to commit to uh, strict rights partly because our industry has become more litigious of late and that's making people nervous at decision making level in these organizations and also because they just can't say how they're going to use a picture reliably uh, as well as they might have done in the past because they are producing so much content in so many uh, uh, medias and uh, media and so much media and territories uh, at the same time and so the call is for more flexibility and Pricing. So we came up with this concept. Now, originally, they were giving a 10 year license. We've since, in this case, for this customer, rolled that back to five years. And um, we allowed quite a lot of reuse under those terms, but actually, Alamy, in this case, funded it. And we paid the photographers when reuse was reported just to help us learn how uh, the customer was going to do it. And the interesting thing is, is they only reuse about 15% of that which they buy. Uh, and this is over a, a few years. And that goes to show you that actually the demand for content is very high and in order to keep themselves fresh they just need to keep buying it and so well, the rights that are granted are not that representative anymore of the reality uh, but they do give the purchaser um, insurance that they're not going to fall into some rat hole over a, a licensing dispute that in fairness they're probably not ever going to do. Uh, so, next question. I contacted Alamy with proof of a photo sale made last year, yet Alamy seemed unable to report and pay me for it. Why is this happening when it's your job uh, and what you get your 50% commission for? Uh, so, I, I don't know what this particular um, case is, but if I may answer it in general terms, if you tell us about uh, what you think is uh, something that's an infringement or a use that hasn't been licensed for, please let us know. But you also have to be aware that in many cases, the customers in the case of newspapers and magazines have syndication arrangements, which means that the material can be reproduced in many languages and other publications uh, within the context of the original article. And those are covered by the terms of the license by us and everyone else in this industry. The other is that um, uh, if you do get in touch, we will look at it and we'll follow it up as best we can. Uh, in some cases, they're just not resolvable, uh, but uh, you know, we always like to know about it and we will look into it for you. Uh, and in this particular case, if you haven't got a satisfactory answer, please bring it to my attention. Uh, towards the end of 2012, photography in the commission was cut to 50%. There was mention of investment in a lot of exciting initiatives in 2012, which provide some sort of counterbalance. What happened? Well, lots has happened. We have been probably the busiest we've ever been since we started the business. 
Uh, Alamy is operating in numerous sales territories. We've had a complete reboot of the brand, re-engineering of the search engine, which is still ongoing. Uh, we are more uh, presence in. We have more presence in marketing terms. We have new ventures in news, in video. Uh, we're shortly getting into vector graphics, and so the business has had to operate in uh, many more fronts than ever before. The uh, objective is obviously to improve the bottom line for you and for us. We, you know, we, we're, we're coupled together. We share in your success, and so um, uh, we're being very active in several areas simultaneously in order to find opportunities for growing this business. Uh, I can't say you know, just what time scale we're talking about, but um, uh, Alamy has always been a long-term bet, and we'd like you to join us on that journey. And uh, so far, we've withstood the worst financial crisis in history, and we've got growth in volumes, and we've had growth in revenues over the last couple of years. And so, you know, all things going well, we're going to continue that. Uh, does Alamy think that the supply of content is a given, that you will get the images anyway? I think this is asking if, you know, are you taking the photographers for granted? Um, absolutely not. I mean, photographers are the lifeblood of this business, and Alamy was started for photographers. We wanted to create a system that had low barriers to entry, um, had uh, no editing overhead, uh, and let you submit as many images as you like, uh, and give you access to tools online to see how your images are performing and, and, and uh, what customers are looking for, and so on. Uh, and that's still the business we're in today. Uh, we can't succeed without you know, your hard work and goodwill. And uh, we know that you know, you've helped us get to where we are today. Would you be prepared to have more active but private participation by your top contributors in discussing how Alamy sales the stormy seas of stock? Uh, well, we do talk to photographers uh, and uh, uh, lots of senior managers at Alamy uh, spend their time talking to photographers. I was on the road earlier this year in the UK and the US meeting photographers. Uh, there are lots and lots of you. Uh, we can't get around to seeing you all, um, but uh, you know, hearing what you have to say and what you think is, a, is an important part of the research we do when we're uh, planning for the future. You discussed lowering the payment threshold. When is this happening? Thank you for keeping the pressure up on us on, on this. Uh, it's an important point because there are lots of you who are below the threshold who we would like to see paid and get motivated to send us more stuff. Um, uh, we have been upgrading the finance system this year. Long and boring story as to why it's taken so long, but uh, we'll be at the position in a position by the end of this year to lower the payment threshold further, and we'll be then doing it again uh, in the first half of next year. So it is on its way. Uh, we'll be releasing some details um, shortly about how we're going to do that before the end of the year so you'll get some heads up as to what the um, formal time will be and how it's going to work. Right, we're almost uh, out of time here. Uh, I would just like to cover two things very briefly. Lots of questions about newspapers. Um, I did cover that in some detail in the last question and answer session, so check that out if you haven't already seen it. Um, I suppose the general thing to say is that in 2008, uh, the newspaper business I mean, the taps were just turned off in a lot of cases. We lost a huge amount of business almost overnight as the customers uh, took a very defensive position with respect to their spend in the stock photos. Uh, we worked very hard to uh, recoup uh, some of that business and with your help, the, uh, with the newspaper scheme, uh, we've been able to recover almost the position we were in uh, uh, and it's still growing, which is excellent. The prices, however, well, in some cases they're okay, in some cases they're not so great. Uh, we've said yes to things that actually we probably wouldn't say yes to again if the opportunity arose and we are going to take the opportunity to revise some of these contracts if the business, business conditions improve. The other thing was mentioned was uh, someone did say did we lose the Huffington Post contract? No, uh, we didn't. We, uh, uh, they were going through a uh, period of upgrading their digital asset management system which was put in place earlier this year which means they're reusing a lot of the content they already own. Uh, and that has led to a, a reduction in uh, what they're buying from Alamy. But they, uh, 
context there is that uh, we've, we didn't lose the account, they've just reduced their spend and we're still an important supplier to them. Right, well, uh, that's all we have time for. Thank you very much for all your questions and see you next time.